Hello, I am Dr. Mary Washington, pharmacist, singer, and founder of Farm Tamer Productions, where holistic and functional medicine uh, wellness is met through music and entertainment. I am hosting a series called Music in Stressful Times, and music is a frontliner to COVID-19. Now, a frontliner is a person or someone who represents a particular brand or business where you will have a connection with as well as communicate with. Well, in this moment, music is going to be our frontliner. It is the tool that we're going to use to actually have that connection with and communicate with. And I have invited um, someone here today, the lovely Dr. Dorika Dodd. But before we get started, the information provided by Farm Tamer Productions is for informational purposes only and is not intended as medical advice, a substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, treatment, or guarantee of an outcome. Well, Dr. Jerika Dodd is a pharmacist, a coach, and the CEO of Your Pharmacy Advocate. And I want to welcome you here today to Farm Tame Productions. Hey, Dr. Jerika Dodd. Hey, thank you for having me. Yes, it's a pleasure to have you here today. And of course, it is um, music in stressful times, but also just our relationship with music, uh, our histor historical footprint with music, because one thing that is, that I believe is constant, regardless of our changes and the experiences that we're going through at the moment with the shut-ins, is that music is going to be our constant. Um, and to start with that, um, where does music begin for you? Oh, gosh. Um, well, not now, but I used to be a musician years ago. That's, that's back on my dream list uh, that I would love to relearn how to play my instrument. But I have always loved music. And I think subsequently, because I love to dance and music definitely goes with dancing, uh, just before you and I uh, fired up this recording, I had a little dance session for the morning because I looked at my watch and I said, oh, I've got 10 minutes. And so that's good for at least three songs. Mm -hmm. So music has definitely um, been ever present for me. And especially during these times now where, you know, I'm home more often. It's not like I'm going places. But even though when I think about when I was in my car more often than I am these days, usually would have music playing in the car too. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And see, I can relate to that, too, as I'm commuting to work. Um, that is something you will listen to music to uplift your spirit, music to get you happy, move, moving, dancing and just uh, it makes you feel good, helps you to get along with your day. Mm -hmm. um, just like you was just dancing down, you know, the stairs before we even um, got started. You know, it really does uplift your mood and spirit. Um, for me, my music began. Um, and I consider it as music as a historical footprint. And so it has its own beginnings in different parts in my life. And one part of my life I do remember, at, I recall at the moment, is me being that little girl just feeling free with my music. And that was before, that was when I was in a summer camp and I was trying to play. Mary had a little lamb, twinkle, twinkle, little star. I was maybe <laughs> kindergarten. So what is that? Maybe six, seven, five. I don't know. Yeah, five years old. And sitting at the piano trying to relay the information and the, what I've heard from a musical box that I once had to the piano. Mm -hmm. And I just remember how I felt so free and open, no worries in the world, because obviously you're a kid, but just, you know, you don't really have to worry about the bills like we do in our adulthood days, <laughs> but that freedom, that connection that I had, I just really felt I can just accomplish anything that I put my mind to at the moment. So I was also wondering with you, what is your connection to music? How does music inspire you? 
Well, it definitely does just that. Um, I I think about you know my repertoire of music both on my phone or through my streaming service, and it's a wide range. It depends on you know if I want to listen to something inspirational that might be uh, Christian or gospel music. If I need a girl power song because I'm about to step on the stage and I need to make sure that my head is in the right place, that might be a, that. That's a whole different uh, other track. Um, but yeah, music it's 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 really a part of my life for many reasons. You know, I mean, I'm sure you remember your college days, and you know, if you had a little romantic breakup, there was music for that. You know, that there were definitely people who who made songs to exemplify exactly how you felt <laughs> losing your boo and so i think that, that music is has always been a part of my life in some type of way and and you definitely can find i can find the music to match my mood and it it doesn't necessarily always have to be one genre of music it just it depends um i can turn on classical music and enjoy it and listen for the the bass violin or listen for the cello and actually pick out the different instruments um, that I can hear. So it's just, I love music. And as I'm even sitting and, and reflecting and having this conversation with you, I hadn't thought of, you know, some of these, uh, these elements of music in a while. So I definitely will be calling up. I even have a playlist that I listen to when the phone is off and I'm just focusing on my work. I have a focus playlist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. That's see, that really resonated when you say you have a focus playlist or just a playlist in general, because I have a playlist as well. If it, 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 it's mostly a playlist where I'm like, okay, I need to work and practice on my vocals for, or as a playlist, it's time for you to go and just let loose, <laughs> have some fun and just enjoy the moment or the playlist where it is inspirational. You got this, Mary. So yeah, I can relate to that. And one point you had mentioned was regarding how music, um, it, it can identify a moment in your life. Like you was mentioning, of course, being back in college and having that, boy, that, that breakup moment with that individual you thought that was going to be the... <sighs> Let me stop resonating. <laughs> but uh, but uh, it's also, in a sense, and what I'm trying to lead to is that music is healing. And it comes from a source where we know that when music is produced and when it's written, it's um, expressing that particular individual, that artist or songwriter's moment in their life that resonate with the rest of us as well. And when I say music is healing, it's also taken in consideration in that moment of the emotional hurt or pain that you're experiencing to, um, as we are pharmacists and just understanding the science of it, you know, the physical pain, because um, there are studies that shows um, are proven that, you know, individuals, particularly with post heart attack can um, listen to 30 minutes of music per day while still taking their medication and minimizing their pain um, but yes, and the one thing I can think of from there is, um, uh, the song just came to me and I just cannot remember at the moment. Um, uh, I'm having one of those brain fart moments, but it's, it's, um, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's, he'll take the pain away. I don't know if you understand, uh, know that song, but yeah, that one is by Kurt Franklin. He'll take the pain away. It's the emotional pain that you can experience in, um, your particular life a moment and i know that during this time frame um people being um in their homes probably just stressed out from just being congested inside their homes so they're not able to go out and just experience life that they would love to experience it the way they would like to and just to go from yes um to there but um another aspect with that and what I'm trying to get that point to is that music is a healing component and it also can ease the emotional pain. I am wondering what is one song that you will identify with either now or in the past or it does not matter um, that resonates with you right now 
Mm -mm. I think one of my favorite songs, and it's, um, it was actually um, very important to me um, years ago uh, during a, a special ceremony, special life ceremony for me. Um, and I still love that song today. And it doesn't matter who sings it, but I love the song, Great Is Thy Faithfulness. Mm. That song reminds me, it makes me think about just think back over my life, think mm -hmm. about, you know, how faithful God has been to me, how faithful he is continuing to be to me, and how grateful I am for that, for that because, as you know, we always, um, when, we, when we think about God's goodness, we're always reminded when we look at him, we see ourselves in perspective to him, mm -hmm. and we're reminded how grateful we should be just even for the air we breathe mm -hmm. each day and so yeah. when i think of a song that is one of my all-time favorites i love great is thy faithfulness mm. yes that's a good choice that is and it does it brings back um memories over your life how far you come and just to be grateful grateful for everything in our lives, the breath that you breathe, yes, it hits. A, it hit. It hit. Resonated with me at this moment because that's a song that I can relate to myself. Mm -hmm. And um, well, here's another song that I can think of as well, and um, it is. Another Kirk Franklin song, and it uplifts my spirit but it's called right before I die, I gotta live. Because a lot of times when I think back over my life, it is a lot of sacrifices I have made to actually just get through a moment. And I know there's some people that are out there that can probably relate to that. You know, we're just getting through this moment. Some of us are just doing what we need to do to just make it that is it but what are we doing that will make us overall happy and find joy within our lives as well as that undefined peace that you cannot just go and seek out and purchase and just bring out of any other body else but yourself so i really do think and I'm thankful for you saying that as well, um, that song, because it really did resonate. But right before I die, I got to live. Um, well, thank you for joining me today on sharing your stories. Sure. And um, there are more episodes coming at Farm Tamer Productions. And you can like and uh, follow Farm Tamer Productions on Facebook, as well as on YouTube. And I will also be sharing these videos on LinkedIn. And I want to thank you all for listening in. And you all have a well, safe, and blessed day. Thank you.